see me, Miss Vince Nee, I got this new ad here to you as fast as I could. I think it is exactly what you wanted. The people in marketing did a bang up job on it, I think you will be quite pleased, Miss Vince Nee. Vincini Cosmetics, the most exciting breakthrough in cosmetics for women everywhere, the new Eternal Youth formula utilizes some of founder Judy Vincini's own genetic material to give you the new, patented, exclusive Eternal Youth formula. With this new face cream, you will never, ever age again. Put an end to aging once and for all. Put an end to your wrinkles once and for all. While using this exclusive new product, please avoid exposure to direct sunlight for at least 15 minutes after application to the skin. You will look and feel instantly younger. The first in a line of new Vincini products guaranteed to transform millions of women from their dull, ordinary beauty to an eternal state of permanent beauty. Only from Vincini. Get some today. Available throughout Murgatroyd immediately and soon to be available nationwide as well. Embrace being forever young again. Vincini. The transformation Vincini. that lasts. The transformation that lasts forever. Vincini Cosmetics Corporation. reports we have are that Judy Vincini is very pale looking as if she might be ill, and she apparently only works at night nowadays and never during the daytime. She's also on some kind of a kick banning all religious symbols from the workplace, demanding that no employees wear religious symbols to work, threatening to fire them, and so on. A lot of people think she might be losing it, but the stock continues to soar with the introduction of this new Eternal Youth face cream that she is touting. I don't know if all the claims that Vincini is making about the face cream are anywhere close to being true, but that stuff is flying off the shelves in Murgatroyd. Every store in town has sold out several times the past two weeks and had to restock more of it. Thanks, Hugh. That's all I have for you at the moment, sir.
is Hugh Millinson of CRZY. I'm here interviewing uh, Vincent Von Vecten, who is here from Europe uh, in Murgatroyd. Now, I've tried doing a little research about you, Dr. Von Vecten, on Google, and quite frankly, there's not much there. You keep a very, very low profile. I assume for your own reasons you remain uh, below the radar. So tell us, uh, Doctor, uh, tell us about yourself a little bit and what brings you here and, and what's going on in Murgatroyd from what you're able to tell us at this point. Yes, I am Dr. Vincent Von Vecten, and I have indeed come to Murgatroyd because Murgatroyd has a very, very serious problem. This phenomenon that has local doctors and scientists baffled, well, I know exactly what it is and I'm here to stop it before it spreads and becomes a pandemic and infects the entire country first and then the world. Allow me to be blunt. It's a disease of sorts, all right, but it's none that it's the emergency of a very deadly parasitical new species that will displace the existence and dominate species of man just as Homo sapiens replaced Cro-Magnon and Neanderthals hundreds of thousands of years ago. So you're saying this is the emergence of a new species? Yes. This new emergence, species, emergence of a species has the potential to wipe out most of mankind. That's a frightening thought, Dr. Ron Beckton. Yes, it is. It's a very serious, serious problem. We're in a very dire state of emergency. We must deal with this before it becomes a bigger problem. Thank you, Dr. Bob Beckton. We will be having you back again on this segment as, as to bring more research to us. We've got other stories now we have to cover, but this is a desire. We may have you back on the evening news to tell us a little more. Thank you very much, Dr. Bob Beckton. Taking care of the big one tonight. Kitty didn't see. It's her fault, you're dead. She brought that serial killer back. I'm taking care of Kitty. Didn't see you once and for all tonight. I won't give any peace of mind until she's dead. I'm going straight to the Vincini headquarters. I'm going straight in there. I saw on TV where she only works at night now. It's almost dark. The sun's setting. I'm going in there and I'm going to take care of Kitty Vincini. I'm doing it for you, Blackson. I won't get any peace of mind until Kitty Vincini's dead. Hi, 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 ha. I knew your son Blatson very well, but I am going to get to know you even better, Elena. Look into my eyes. You will do as I tell you. You will obey me. Stare deep into my eyes. Now come to me. Come to me and give me your neck. I never tasted your dear, dead son Blatson while he was still alive, but I suspect he would have tasted very good. I suspect your blood will taste very good as well. Hi, 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 hi.
Metroid. I am Dr. Vincent Von Vechten, and I am and I am establishing a crisis center for vampire defense supplies. Here at the crisis center, you can pick up the defensive tools you will need for your protection and survival. First of all, we've got garlic. It will help you ward off vampires from your home, your car, person, or workplace. Secondly, it is always good to have a wooden stake. One good wooden stake through the heart will get rid of them perfectly. Always keep yourself surrounded by a crucifix. It's always good to have a cross on you at all times. This is a bottle of holy water. We have these for sale in our factory. You can just come by and pick one up. Uh, you'll definitely need this to ward off all of these evil vampires or whatever the case may be. Dr. Von Vechten, what effect does holy water have upon a vampire when it's thrown on them? Well, holy water uh, will cause the, uh, cause the creature to catch flames and melt down and burn and uh, just become obliterated. Excellent. Excellent, Dr. Von Vechten. Could you give us any further advice about a cross garlic? Are those the main things that will ward off vampires? Yes. Um, stay in the light. Thank you, Dr. Von Vechten. We appreciate this. This has been Dr. Von Vechten here telling you how to protect yourself from the vampire plague that is striking Murgatroyd. Find out that Grandpa was trying to kill me. He was trying to poison me with poison cookies. I outsmarted him. He always did underestimate me. I took those poison cookies, crumbled them up, and started putting them in his oatmeal. Now we don't have to worry about Grandpa anymore. Just remember, kitties, mom's the word. Gotta keep secret. Remember, mom's. Grandma here's going to take you to Disney World every year. And we have all this insurance money that we inherited from your two-timing, mean, evil grandpa. And he's buried behind the pig tree in the backyard. Just remember, if anybody ever comes around asking, he ran off. He was developing dementia and Alzheimer's. We have no idea where he is. We haven't seen him. So remember, if you little kitties decide to rat Grandma out, you've heard the story of Hansel and Gretel, haven't you? You know that big double boiler oven Grandma's got in the kitchen? Oh, I'd hate to see anything happen to you nice, sweet little kiddos. But just remember, we're going to keep going to Disney World every few months as long as you keep your little mouths shut. Oh, God, I sure am glad for Vincey's focus fix. It cleared my mind up where I could see what that evil man was doing to me, and I was able to turn the tables on your grandpa. Now, kitties, are you ready for another story? Yes, Grandma. This is Dr. Von Vechten. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a grave crisis. This is an epidemic. The fate of humanity is at stake, and the thing spreads outside the city of Murgatroyd. I've got some things to help us out here. First, do not go outside at night under any circumstances. You cannot outrun a vampire. You cannot overpower a vampire. 
lock your doors and windows, put up crosses everywhere, uh, above your door, back door, front, stuff, only during the daytime, during daylight uh, hours. Keep all garlic, or keep garlic on you at all times, as well as crucifix. This has to be stopped before it overtakes Murgatroyd and soon the rest of the world. Vampire see us prey as the food source, but once bitten, a human victim will turn into a vampire and then begin to attack and feed upon you. Uh, infect others. Uh, arm yourself and protect yourself. You're in grave danger. <laughs> Murgatroyd is under quarantine as 23 people are now missing, 13 females, 10 males. Spontaneous resurrections continue unexplained and President Devane has declared the situation a national emergency. National Guard troops are heading into Murgatroyd in the Center for Disease Control and Atlanta has placed a quarantine on the city. to address the nation tonight concerning the crisis in Murgatroyd and a scientist known as Dr. Von Vechten has set up a crisis center in Murgatroyd providing survival gear and defensive gear against what he maintains is a vampire epidemic engulfing Murgatroyd. All citizens of Murgatroyd are urged to remain indoors at night and to keep doors and windows locked. The placement of a crucifix on doors and windows as a deterrent is being urged. Dr. Von Vechten today urged citizens to keep garlic on their persons and in their homes. The National Guard has arrived in Murgatroyd and President Devane will be addressing the nation later this evening. The city of Murgatroyd remains under quarantine. Dr. Getrick was able to create uh, by taking your DNA and splashing it with some DNA of what he's a wood pulp boy that has been retrieved from the ruins of the old biotech lab. Nice. Thank you for bringing me back to life, King Pedestrian. I hope the clones you made using my DNA will wreak havoc. I must return to the past. I must return to Murgatroyd. I have been away for far too long and those are my old stomping grounds. There's a lot of new, innocent, pretty young victims to slice and dice. <laughs> Until next time, Mur Until next time, pedestrian.
It's not just an opinion. It's your opinion. Into opinion, a radio, go go. Tune into opinion, a radio, go 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 go. Uncle Frank here in all. I seen where that Doctor Dexter Vaughn or whatever he's called got on TV and talked about the got the vaccine out now all over town for this vampire plague and all. And you know I'm not with my wife anymore. We split up and that Aunt Suki's got a apartment in in town there in Murdershire. And I got worried about her. Some old vampire might try to get hold of her with her being by herself and living alone. And I also went by that super luxe grocery and went over there and she had her window open and all and I didn't try to talk to her. I didn't want to get into an argument with her or nothing. So I just set some garlic bulbs there in the windowsill and all kinda of help protect her, you know, keep the vampires from getting her and I got a little old wooden cross and hung it on her door, you know, and all like that. You know, he said on T V keep a cross on your door and and you went, and of course, I've been doing that for years anyway. I mean, I'm not that religious of a man, but I just did it for, you know, for decorative purposes and all, you know. And of course, I've got garlic out here because I like, you know, make, Suki made the best spaghetti in the world. I miss her spaghetti. Of course, I miss her. I'd like to get back with the woman, but I don't believe she'll have me back and all, you know, and everything. And of course, I'm just doing the best I can out here, and I've got on that murder card singles and all. Supposed to meet some Chinese girl up there at Drifty's tomorrow. I don't know how that will go, but I'm I'm gonna give it a shot because I'm just an old retired bachelor man now, and I don't like being by myself. You know, I'm used to having somebody around. You can only read so many papers. Ain't nothing in the Mercury Times anyhow, except that Imogene Klukowski Tomac. You know, and of course I like watching Les Tomac on TV. You know, her husband. And all I like that Hugh Millerton on the. CRZY News and all. And just because Aunt Suki used to watch it, and I miss her sitting here in the afternoon watching it, I'll turn on that old Heart's Desire soap opera and all. You know, of course, you've seen one of them. Three weeks later, you can watch another one. It's the same thing, you know, just the same story still going on. They move so dead gums slow and all like that. Anyhow, I just thought I'd call in about this vampire thing. And I wonder how that got started. I wonder if it's something that the biotech lab down there came out with that just got out into the public or if it's some kind of disease or flu or what it is. If they've got a vaccine for it, you know, there must be something that caused it and all. And I just, I wonder how many people in Murgatroyd got infected with this thing. I mean, they had to call National Guard and everything else. And I just, I'm glad it hadn't spread out. I hope it hadn't spread outside Murgatroyd, you know, and all. Anyhow, this is Uncle Frank here. And thank you. And Dr. Getchick, we have developed a vaccination against these vampire viruses. Oh damn it, oh damn it. Now Judy Vincini is coming back over here to Europe because of that damn Dr. Von Vecten and his vaccine. She's flying over tonight, La Chance, and we still haven't turned Count Pedestrian yet. If Judy gets to him first and she will she will bite him and then he will serve her instead of serving us. She's so damn strong-willed I can't control her either. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, I guess we are just going to have to shift our focus to Eastern Europe now and try to develop a stronghold in Romania. Sharon, Sharon, in the Arion de Mar, there is nothing wrong. Forget, Count Pedestrian. We have control of Paris and most of France. We have control of Italy. Yes, 
We shall grab Eastern Europe. We shall have Romania. We panic too much, Sharon. Beauty is wrapped up in her own preoccupations of power. Ignore her. Do not engage in any further conflict with Judy and Cindy. It is it's not productive. It will not benefit you. It will not benefit our rule as vampires. It will not help us to conquer the earth. Simply allow things to unfold as they should. Believe me, there's a grand design at work, and we are that improved superior species. We are that grand design, Cheryl. In our real demand, relax, Sharon. There is nothing wrong. <laughs> 